It's the 10th anniversary of iPhone, so will Apple release something extraordinary this year? Or will it be more evolutionary than revolutionary? Apple CEO Tim Cook has promised, and I quote, the best is yet to come. Hey everyone, welcome to Gear Up, the Watch Mojo series that looks at the latest in gadgets, gear, and games. I'm Mark Saltzman, and in this video, we'll share eight rumors tied to iPhone 8, or whatever it'll be called. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. As we know, Apple holds their cards very close to their chest, so all of this is speculation to say the least. Some internet mumblings that may or may not pan out. All right, not listed in any particular order. Tonight, I will unveil to you our newest eye technology, and it will synergize with all of our eye products. Number one, an all-glass edge-to-edge display. So fine, so smooth. One of the first rumors tied to the next iPhone, or iPhones as they'll likely be more than one, is an edge-to-edge bezel-free display, virtually doing away with that pesky top and bottom plastic and strips on the side. But where will the home button be, or the camera and speaker for that matter? It just raises too many questions. Rumor has it the home button and Touch ID sensor will be embedded on the front display itself. A recent patent filed by Apple suggests a camera, speaker, and even a heads-up display built behind the edge-to-edge screen, perforation so small as to be imperceptible to the human eye. In the computer. Number 2. OLED Screens Rather than LCD screens, Apple may be using OLED in its iPhone 8 for the first time. Like OLED TVs, organic light-emitting diode-based panels offer much better contrast ratios than LCD. So deeper blacks and whiter whites, along with better brightness, more vivid colors. It hurts my eyes. Yeah, that doesn't go away. And because no backlighting is required, thinner panels too, which we all know Apple likes. And perhaps most importantly, lower power consumption. We all know battery life is one of iPhone's biggest challenges. The display itself is said to be flexible plastic OLED, but not likely bendable, curved, or rollable, though you might see some fake mock-ups online. As previously mentioned, it should have a glass body surrounding the OLED screen and built around an aluminum or stainless steel frame. Number 3. New Screen Sizes Rumored to be somewhere in between the current iPhone and iPhone Plus, at about 5.2 inches, iPhone 8 might split the difference between what's available now. You need to see this. I'll be in my office. And perhaps there will be a larger model too. Let's call it the iPhone 8 Plus, speculated to be as large as 5.8 inches, making it the biggest phablet from Apple to date. Do you know of Dr. Freud, Mr. Ismay? His ideas about the male preoccupation with size might be of particular interest to you. Do you believe bigger is better? Would a jumbo iPhone 8 with an edge-to-edge -edge OLED screen do well? It's too big. Size matters not. Some other sites with so-called inside information predict there might be two new, lower-cost iPhone models that use LCD panels instead of OLED. This might make sense to help iPhone get into emerging markets that otherwise can't afford a top-tier iPhone. I get iPod. He only get iPod mini. Everybody know it's for girls. Number four, wireless charging. So wireless. Wireless, exactly. Yeah. All right, this is one of my favorite rumors, but it also seems to be the most far-fetched. According to BGR, the iPhone maker is looking into the possibility of long-range wireless charging that'll truly do away with a wired connection to juice up your device. There's electricity in there. The key here is long range, as we're not talking about placing a smartphone on a charging mat, which you can do today. But rather, imagine you walk into your home or office and your iPhone immediately starts charging up while still in your pocket. You feel that, Alan? Huh? That tingling in your balls? Apple is rumored to be working with a company called Energis on the technology. This could be a game changer. Let's hope this one isn't a rumor. Number 5. Way More Power And the powerful it is. According to multiple sources, Apple will unveil its A11 chip, the brains of the new iPhone, built on a 10 nanometer process. Once again, the speculation is that Apple is working with TSMC, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, to design this super small yet very powerful processor, to not only be faster but more energy efficient too. And then to be reminded what real power is. Last year's A10 was Apple's first quad-core 64-bit system on a chip that boasted 40% greater CPU performance and 50% greater graphics performance compared to the 2015 iPhones. <laughs> The absolute power! 
so perhaps we can expect the same jump going from the A10 to the A11 chips. Mmm, chips. Potato oh. chips! Number six, facial recognition. You have reached the life model decoy of Tony Stark. Please leave a message. Some analysts are reporting iPhone 8 will be the first with multiple biometrics options, not just a fingerprint reader, and will include facial recognition technology. Oh my God, look at that face. You look like my next mistake. The phone may utilize laser and infrared sensors located near the front-facing camera to identify you accurately. I say accurately, as Android has tried this a few years ago, but it was proven that it could be fooled, but then handled better more recently with Microsoft's Windows Hello Biometrics logon using your face instead of a password. Other analysts suggest Apple will have facial detection and iris recognition, and is said to be sourcing iris scanning chips from Taiwanese supplier Zintech. Number 7. Better Water Resistance Last year's iPhone 7 was certified with an IP67 rating, which means that it is fully protected from dust and can also withstand being submerged in one meter of water, or about 3.3 feet, up to 30 minutes. Rumor has it iPhone 8 will be even more resistant to the elements, offering IP68 certification, which means it's dustproof and could withstand being even deeper in water, 1.5 meters, or just shy of 5 feet, for up to 30 minutes. I kept pushing things, I wanted to go deeper and deeper, I wanted to go further. This is an improvement for those who take their phone to the beach, near a pool, or, while well, you won't admit it, to the bathroom. Number 8. Better Cameras Can you guys help me pick a filter? I don't know if I should go with XX Pro or Valencia. Okay, so no shocker here as Apple announces this every year, but a KGI securities analyst believes the dual-lens camera will remain in the higher-end and larger iPhone only, the iPhone 8 Plus or whatever it's called. But all 2017 models should include the optical image stabilization for both the wide-angle and telephoto lenses. In last year's iPhone 7 Plus, only the wide-angle lens had optical image stabilization to prevent blurry shots. There's also some online buzz about the iPhone 8 camera supporting 3D photography effects, as the Cupertino-based tech giant is rumored to be working with LG InnoTech to develop a new camera module capable of snapping images from two rear-facing lenses at the same time and then fusing them to create the illusion of depth. Sounds cool, but only time will tell. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.